Guys, I have a dog named Chicken. That's a true story. I have a dog named Chicken. And one time, I ordered KFC to the house. When the guy came to the door, before I had any kind of verbal interaction with this gentleman, I just opened the door, and my dog bolted out past the guy. So the first thing the KFC man heard me say was, Chicken! Chicken! Thought I was pretty excited about my dinner, I think. <laughs> I have this, um, I have this sweatshirt. It's a, uh, it's a Harvard Law sweatshirt. It's, uh, it says Harvard Law on it, and it's from Harvard Law. And um, I have this because my, uh, I got it for Christmas because my sister-in-law actually goes to Harvard Law. She's a very impressive person. I think it's, it's fair to say that at some point in her life, I will try to borrow money from her. But uh, I like to wear this sweatshirt for a few reasons. Uh, it's very comfortable, but also I think it's funny. I think it's funny that people think I'm a huge Legally Blonde fan. I also think it's funny uh, when people ask me if I went to Harvard Law, I get to say, no, funny story actually, I got kicked out of comedy school. But um, I was wearing this, uh, down, I was walking downtown, I was walking at like Young and Dundas and I was wearing this sweatshirt and there was this gentleman there, sort of a dirtier looking gentleman laying on a piece of cardboard on the sidewalk and uh, he busted me on it. I was walking by and he went, you didn't go to Harvard Law. And I thought, oh no, oh yeah, busted, busted. Just my luck. I'm walking around wearing the sweatshirt just as the Dean of Admissions wakes up from a nap on Dundas Street. I got married a few years ago, uh, and what's great about that is when you're a comedian and you get married, you automatically move to the next level, which is wife jokes. Now, there's a level after that called divorce, I don't think I'm gonna do that one, but man, some of those guys are really funny. <laughs> but here's, uh, this is the first wife joke I wrote. It's the first wife joke. We went to the Dominican Republic uh, shortly after we got married, and um, one of the uh, excursions that you could take from this resort is a helicopter ride around the island, right? Now, it was very expensive, so we didn't do it but we saw a lot of helicopters is the point. And one time, I was there, I was standing in a pool, and I saw, pretty low to the ground, pretty large in my view, this bright blue helicopter, right? Now, all the other helicopters that we saw had been black, so it was a big deal. I saw this bright blue helicopter, and I said to my wife, I said, hey, look at that cool blue one. And then she said, Oh yeah, what is that, Tigger on it? And I was like, what? And I guess what had happened was, at the same moment that I was looking at this helicopter, this toddler had walked by wearing a blue swim diaper with Tigger from Winnie the Pooh just like right here in the front, right? So when I said, hey, look at that cool blue one, I guess my wife had thought, I guess she had thought that I'd seen this swim diaper <laughs> and it had moved me to say, hey, look at that cool blue one. Like I'd been watching them go by all afternoon. No, no, get at it, wait a minute. We got a genuine Tigger here? Hi, hi, look. Look at that cool blue one. <clears throat> I married this person. <clears throat> I think what's stranger is that she married me just casually thinking I was the type of guy who on vacation would be scoping out strangers' babies in their swim diaper areas. I married a creep lover, you guys. I was at the grocery store with my wife and they had uh, watermelon sparkling water on sale. This big display of it. Liter bottles for 89 cents. All the flavors. What a dream. What a dream. So I thought, we need some of these, right? Grabbed a grapefruit one. Great. I reached for a lime one. Great. 
I go for a watermelon one, and my wife is like, okay. And like silently in my head, I'm thinking, why am I getting attitude about the watermelon sparkling water? It's 89 cents. It's my 89 cents. Plus, plus, it says on the front of the bottle, with a hint of watermelon flavor. A hint. Just a hint. So just keep in mind that all the drama that ensues from this is over a hint. So later on, her at home, sitting on the back porch, I'm having a glass of this stuff, right? And my wife is like, how is it? And I'm like, it's fine. And then she's like, can I try some? And silently in my head, I'm thinking, I don't want you to try this. There's no win here for me. But of course, in real life, I went, sure. And then, and then she literally did this. Ah! Ah! And I'm like, okay, what am I, what am I supposed to do with this? And then she's like, it tastes fake. And then I surprised myself with what a passionate response I had. What a hard stance I took on this watermelon sparkling water because she said it tastes fake and I said, no, it tastes like watermelon and it's good. And then she said, no, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like someone put a piece of watermelon gum in a glass of water. And I was like, no, it doesn't. And she went inside and I had another sip of it and I couldn't help but feel like it tasted like someone put a piece of watermelon gum in a glass of water. But I'm never telling her that, man. Never. I'm gonna buy that gum water for years. I'll put it out at parties. They're going to make a drink for her dad and she'll be like, no! And I'll be like, it tastes like watermelon and it's good! Um, okay, I'm gonna leave you guys on this. There's a, um, they're making another Superman movie and I really like Superman and I would love to be in a Superman movie, but I don't think I should be cast as Superman. Let's be very clear about that. If they cast me as Superman, I would learn all the words that there are for fat and gay and all the ways that the internet spells those words. But, but, um, I would like to play something in a Superman movie, so I've come up with a few little scenes of characters I think I could play in a Superman movie, and I just would like to do them for you real quick. There's a, uh, you know how in every Superman movie, there's that part where they're like, it's a bird, it's a plane, uh, it's Superman, right? So in this movie, they would be doing that. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. And I would be a guy who just bought a hot dog from a hot dog vendor. They're like, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. I'll be like, it's Superman. And then this guy will be like, yeah, I just said that though, right? I'll be like, oh, you did? Oh, sorry, I had a really farty ketchup bottle. So that's one, that's one character I could play. I think that's a good one. <coughs> Uh, I, here's another one. In this scene, I play a janitor in a big office tower in Metropolis. I play a janitor and uh, Superman and some uh, like villain from space are having a big like battle through Metropolis and they come crashing through the, uh, <coughs> come crashing through the building that I'm mopping in. They come crashing through the front of the building straight through the back of the building while I mop. Here's the janitor scene, take one. Okay, um, one more scene for you guys. This is the scene, this takes place in a pizzeria and I'm a guy waiting in line to get pizza and um, Clark Kent, Superman, and Lois Lane are on a date right behind me, okay? Pizzeria scene, I'm a guy uh, in line to get pizza. Okay, here we go. Huh. You don't got any pepperoni? No? Uh, got any coming out or? No? Uh, really, I had my heart set on pepperoni. Yeah, hold on. You know what? I'm good. I'm good. 
I think this guy's Superman. All right, I'm going to leave you there. I'm Pat Thornton. Thanks so much.